Hi, I'm Trish Sardot, Public Information Officer for York County, and I'm here with Bill Shanahan, County Manager for York County, and we are going to provide a budget update for today on the proposed FY 2019-2020 budget. So the proposed budget has passed first and second <coughs> reading by the York County Council, and last week there was a budget workshop, and will you just give us a recap of what took place at that workshop? Yes, I'd uh, be glad to. Uh, the first thing, um, we had Kevin Madner, our treasurer, also deputy manager, and he just gave an overview of the budget. We walked through different things that are going on with the budget. He, he identified the fact that, you know, we're gonna have a two, uh, two mil increase at the sheriff's office because as we promised the citizens in the past, uh, we, we will start looking at possible capital projects and we'll try to have the funds for them before they actually happen and that'll save our citizens a lot of money in the long run. Another thing is we talked about the value of the mill. It has jumped up about 5.77%, which makes it somewhere around $1,340,000. Uh, we talked about our population and how it has grown about 3% over the year, making us the third uh, most significant growth growth rate rate in South Carolina, and, and all of those things, which you you've got to remember, just just shows how well growth management is working in your county, and economic development. We're bringing in the right jobs that support, and we're, we're making sure that the growth is where we want it and how we want it. We're identifying good quality of life trends and it's making us a very popular county in the state. Uh, the county intends to hire a uh, little over eight positions, uh, funded positions, and the sheriff will hire right at 11 uh, funded positions. And so we just went through those type of things and, and those type of details. And upon completion of that, uh, Andy Merriman, who's our public safety uh, deputy manager, went talked about the uh, fire department and. Uh, some of the issues that are going on with them and, and in reference to our goal in 10 years to have a, a fire department that keeps the citizens of your county as safe as safe can be at, at the best possible price. Okay, great. Thank you for the, the specifics on the budget. Um, so Wednesday, May 29th at 6 p.m. is a special call meeting and at that meeting the County Council is going to hold a public hearing on the proposed budget. So why why should residents attend this meeting? Well, number one, they need to know what we're doing. This is their money that we're spending right. and they, they need to know how we're spending it and why we're doing what we're doing with it. In addition to that, they will hear other possible departments, other elected officials, other citizens talk about things that they think are important for for your county and you never know what ideas will be sparked for them if they come to this meeting and they will have the opportunity to talk about what they think is important and, and you, know, you have to remember our council are here because they were voted in by the citizens and our council want to know what the citizens think so it's really important. Okay, great. And if you would like to see the proposed budget that passed the second reading, it is located at the county's website at www.yorkcountygov.com.